Welcome to Gord Field in Detroit Rock, Michigan. Nice town, isn't it, Bricks? Well, by nice, you mean a town that would welcome you by cold cocking in the head with a vacuum cleaner and stealing your luggage in the middle of a motel check-in and throwing you off the bridge into a polluted lake while enjoying your morning walk to the stadium? Then yes, Grin, very nice town. Couldn't be lovelier. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Terra Bay Mutineers battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Third down and five. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. there. Second down and five. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Baby, 
I'm the greatest! No, you didn't see that coming too fast. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he runs it for four yards. Third down, and the punter is warming up. First down! He was not going to drop that one. And since when is that a penalty? Since now, I guess, Grim. Third down in the offense, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. QB is saying his prayers. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap! point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and a lot. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. This guy's a brick should have. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Hey, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. First down and five. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those poetic grim. Like a haiku. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Man? Just 
They don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Zerker drugs. Boom, dead and down. We delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, nah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And 
it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First and four. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Your point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. Um, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hey, did your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? Oh, ho, ho. that gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. Second down and inches. And he just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting, or dead, or worse. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And that's a run for no gain. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open feet. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade, Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. For six, touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be easy, but.
but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Rip, can I kill him? Oh, a great catch and he picks up a new set of downs. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Yo, man, nobody can touch with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten and picks up maybe a deuce at most uh, speaking of deuces I got a uh... <clears throat> a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the dead ref. It feels good. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. Cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down in a mile. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. <laughs> and now 
comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Third down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior? I don't want kids to think I'm cool. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. The brain scrambler. Second down and five. Oh, Mama, he just.
just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll bring up third and one. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? It's all about who can control the line of scrimmage on these short yardage fourth down plays. Usually it's the guy with the biggest butt. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and hit. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the freight cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Third down and nine. target more often and it's first and ten and that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play and that'll bring up second and one Get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Eh, yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Brain Grimm with a ball and didn't fall down. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off. Sure. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. First down in a mile. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Second down and seven. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because one potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Okay. 
Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the defense really needs to stop here. And it's first and ten. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. point attempt straight through the uprights they need a good return here to set up the offense looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life he is but he's got no choice First and ten. Get your motor running. It's special time. He's at the 40. Look, he's running out of gas now. He's at the 20. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as he gets there, stab the first kid you see. With you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Ladies and mutants is how you recover an onside kick. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, and he slips that one in there for a touchdown! <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home 
home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. One for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's right, folks. It's all tied up, and we are headed to overtime. I don't know how many players are left alive, but the rest are headed to sudden death. They should call this game Milton Death League. Bricks, overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Ooh, hope he's got a good time. Practice. Second down and more than the QB would like. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. up five on that play. Second down and five. Two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! was trench warfare both teams battling back and forth bruised and battered but in the end there could be only one winner there are winners in my book i think that a 
undefeated team should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Hey, man. See that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...